Let's scroll upwards again and uh, go back to the, to the point in the code where the current frame is being processed. And um, this is the place where all the lesson one exercises and examples live between these two, these two um, statements here. So these are all the exercises and examples for lesson one. For example, if we want to, let's say, display the camera image, what you need to do is, this is an example, not an exercise, um, you can simply comment this one here in, and if you want to know how this actually works, simply go to definition. No, no definition found, uh, but luckily I have this, uh, this one open here. So let's go into L1 examples. Let's select the function display image. And here is the actual code that pulls the um, image from the Waymo frame, converts the actual image into a specified format, an RGB format, then resizes the image and then displays the image. So, so that's, that's how, it's, uh, how it's working. Okay, let's run the code. In order to execute code, I always use the debugging option here. Let's open this and simply press on this uh, green arrow here. And on the right hand side, you can see the terminal where um, the entire program is now executed. And here the statement processing frame zero is output by line number 95 in this case and prints the frame number. And what you can see here is the actual visualization we have been calling L1 examples display image. And this is the image as seen by the Waymo front camera. And if I press space, you can see that the frame number one has now been, uh, been processed. The image has changed. And when I continue pressing here, you can see that I can step by step um, iterate through the sequence until the last frame has been reached, which I have set at, at this position here. Um, and uh, the, the loop then terminates and uh, yeah, quits, quits the program. So this is basically the structure of the basic loop file, which uh, helps you iterate over, over Waymo frames. And as I told you, if you actually want to execute a, a certain example, simply comment in or comment out. Um, the code here in the main loop and this is this is all you need to know about this if you want to conduct an actual exercise what you also need to do um, same to the example simply comment in for example a one exercise print pitch resolution this is the first or the actually the second exercise which you need to conduct here the first is print number of vehicles but let's stick with this one here for example open the l1 exercises.py file then you can also go to the respective function, which is called print pitch resolution. And here is a sequence of steps, which tells you what to actually do in order to implement this function on top of the description, which you will find within each lesson. So that's um, where you put the, for example, code to load a range image, the code to compute the vertical field of view from ladder calibration and so on and so forth. I think that's all you need to know to go through the exercises one by one to make the visualizations. And I wish you all the best with using this code. And please don't forget to leave us comments, give us feedback in case something doesn't work as expected, or maybe you have a suggestion for certain improvements.